Residents on the Bournemore estate, which has been the scene of several attacks in the past, say the incident had all the signs of a sectarian murder. Mr Quinn and his mother were asleep when a masked gunman broke into the house just after five o'clock this morning. 70-year-old Mrs Annie Quinn was assaulted in her bedroom and her attacker remained silent during her ordeal. He just looked at me up and shook me and snapped me across the face. Was then I seen the mask and I screamed. Did you think the man had was a burglar or had come into... That's right, that was. Didn't think there was anybody in to shoot anybody. The gunman went into Martin's bedroom and shot him once in the shoulder. Mrs Quinn says she saw a man getting into a car afterwards and driving away. She went to another son's house nearby to get help. Meanwhile, a neighbour, Seamus Kelly, had been alerted by the noise of the car and went over to the house to help. Uh. There was just Martin here on his own. He was lying up the stairs in his bedroom, beside the bed. His face down, with a bullet went on his back shoulder, right hand shoulder. And he just kept complaining of the pain. And I didn't ask him anything uh, about the shooting or anything. He didn't even tell me anything about the shooting. It was more, as soon as I seen him, I shouted down to Mrs. Quinn, did you phone an ambulance? He says, no, I haven't. And I run down and phoned an ambulance. She didn't realise her son had been shot at this time. He thought she had been... It'd been beaten up or something. But Martin was able to speak at the time. He was time. able to speak at the time. And I phoned for an ambulance and for, phoned for the police and then went back up to him and waited the ambulance come. At that time I never even thought he was dying. I thought he was just a, a bullet went to the shoulder. Didn't know what it went inside him. According to local people, Mr Quinn was a quiet man who was not involved in politics and whose main interest was in darts and soccer. The murder was condemned by the Alliance Party, Sinn Féin, the Workers' Party and SDLP. Their spokesman, Brian Feeney, said the attack was designed to instill the maximum terror into the Catholic community in that area.